Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing, Magic, and Mysticism. Well, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the concept of offerings. And what offerings essentially are, the concept is that I am going to give a certain something in order to facilitate the relationship between me and some type of unseen force. Now, when we're talking about offerings, um, this idea has been around, and this practice has been around since ancient times. It's very old. Um, you even see it in the Old Testament where um, someone will be sacrificing an animal uh, for Yahweh, maybe a lamb or, or something of that nature, in order to gain the favor of God. Now, in modern day times, it's uh, no different. Um, especially in uh, certain traditions, offerings are, are given, um, while in others it's not so much of a thing. But I want to talk a little bit about, you know, how to think about offerings. Um, the first thing is that an offering isn't necessarily in a, a, a direct one-to-one -one exchange in that I will give you something and in return I want something back you know, right now, okay? That might be more kind of like a, a pact or some type of agreement, but with offerings, it's seen as more of, I'm giving to you and we're forming some type of relationship. Now, so it's not a quid pro quo, tit for tat type of thing, but it is, use in order to connect with certain entities. In fact, if you wanted to attract certain entities, one practice that other people have done is to, you know, every morning go outside and if you have a little bit of coffee left, go and um, talk to whatever nature spirits are around and maybe offer them the rest of your coffee. Um, over time, with the intention of that, you are going to attract spirits um, that will congregate at that time to talk with you or to um, actually receive the, the offering. So that's one suggestion. It also is a good idea to do that if you are new into spirit communication and you just want extra practice. Um, you're going to be attracting spirits by your intention and, offer and doing the offering for the coffee. And you can just, um, you know, hang out and then when you're ready to give the offering, maybe pour it on the ground. So, as far as offerings are concerned, what do spirits, what do, entities, what do they get out of the offering? Well, one thing that they do is they're able to extract the vital essence, especially if it's um, a liquid, a food, um, you know, something. Um, that is, uh, has some type of nutritional value, some type of energy to it. It can extract the energy. It really, you know, isn't so much the thing itself, even though it is kind of symbolic, the item that you're given. Also, it gives them the opportunity to participate in something physical. See, we're dealing with unseen forces that are in many ways um, kind of ethereal and not completely on our plane because they we are physical and they are not. So they are one, I guess, one step removed, maybe even more steps removed from our reality. And by um, using those offerings, they're able to fully participate in our world, which is where the action happens. <laughs> you know, um, I always get the sense that for some of these spirits that they may actually be somewhat envious of us as being physical and being able to do things that they can't necessarily do. So the act of the offering, giving something physical especially, is something that kind of in a way kind of bridges um, that gap. Now how exactly do you um, give an offering? Oh, before, before we, we get into that, <laughs> Uh, what are the, the offerings? Well, the offerings can be, like I said, food can be liquids, um, attention, directing your attention towards the spirit in some ways is actually giving them energy. 
uh, some spirits as an offering um, like publicity. Um, Saint Expedite is one of those um, entities. So I guess with the publicity, it's almost like you consider them as kind of a mimetic entity where they enjoy having their name spread through conversation and various other means. So um, it's not uncommon for um, certain entities to request maybe that you put them on social media, for example. Okay, so what's, how do you go about actually giving offerings? Well, one, be sure to do your research. And I would advise not to go just on Wikipedia, which many consider to be the writing on the bathroom wall of the internet. So you want to go ahead and if you're going to check out Wikipedia to check with other sources to make sure that that's accurate. Wikipedia is very good for some things. Other things I found they have errors and a lot of really strong biases uh, associated with it. So um, keep that in mind. For example, and I'll tell you this, um, one of the entities that um, I like to work with is uh, Hecate. And Hecate, if you look at the tradition where she comes from, the Greek tradition, it says that um, things like honey and wine would be an appropriate offering. And that's something that I've done. Of course, if you have skills in spirit communication, then you can go beyond that. You want to communicate with Hecate. You can ask her, what would you like for a particular offering today? And she might say, you know, she wants something else and maybe something that you can provide that day that maybe you don't have wine or honey in your house right now and maybe something else would be appropriate. I sometimes give her chocolate and I didn't know that that was something that was to be given to her but that's something that she requested. Black coffee, another thing that was requested of me. Now when you think about it, it makes sense because the tradition and mythology of Hecate is being that of kind of a dark goddess. There is an association with her with dark things. So um, chocolate, dark coffee. Um, it seems that, uh, you know, I imagine in my mind that she's drinking the coffee and somehow getting the vital essence of the caffeine and charging herself up. It's kind of my, my playfulness um, in thinking about that. Um, but, you know, it, it's perfectly appropriate and she's um, been, you know, quite happy with those uh, offerings. Another thing is that if by chance, if you don't have those types of things that she wants, it's okay to negotiate. You know, if you don't have those things in the house or you feel uncomfortable with a particular offering because it could be a particular action to, um, especially with um, the ent entities of the Goetia, they may actually ask for a favor for you to do something rather than just some type of um, item or object that you can um, you know, put on your altar. But if you, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with that, negotiate, say, well, you know, I don't feel comfortable with this or I don't have this with me. Um, what, what would you think about me how, giving you this for an offering? And, you know, they usually will, will, will play nice. You know, maybe you can get that other thing that they wanted um, another day. Uh, finally, you know, thank them. Thank them for spending time with you, meeting with you. Um, for uh, thank you for thank them for uh, the building of the friendship. And you know, over time, you will probably, um, if the the entity likes you and wants to work with you, you will find that these this kind of greases the wheels for future interactions. So if you um, are, are kind of doing this for the first time, I would not suggest asking for some type of favor then. <laughs> you know, then he will say, well, it's apparent what we're, you know, he's, he's showing his cards. He actually wants something from me and he's only giving me uh, this because they want a favor. 
So what I would do is to give offerings, and over time, if things are going well, then you can ask for a favor, something you want. And that's basically it. That's, um, that's offerings. Uh, you also want to keep in mind when you're doing your research, uh, as I'm kind of backtracking a little bit, um, certain traditions have certain things that the spirits like. So if you understand a little bit about the mythology, you would um, understand what kind of category of things that they want. Um, uh, for example, in um, voodoo, you might find uh, some of the loa want um, rum and uh, various other types of um, liquors and um, you know cigars and various other things which might not be um, the appropriate offerings if you were you know doing Celtic witchcraft or something like that. So in any case thanks for listening to me ramble on about offerings and I hope to uh, see you in a future video please like and subscribe I will see you later.